So, are the states involved, like, in charge, or the government, or was Mike Pompeo saying FEMA is in charge of the country? The chain of command used to be pretty clear, you know, it was state, all town, state, federal, and then like NSA agency, intel agency type, type stuff. FEMA is above that, and the office of the DIA, Director of Intelligence Office, or Advocacy Office, I don't know, but that was above the NSA, I don't, you know, I don't know who these people are. It probably is connected to our military and intelligence and president as they are the UN. And they, there's, it's like when Trump said he could win the war in Afghanistan, but to do so we'd have to kill tens of millions of people. <sighs> It's the same to, like, for him to resist or go against if he, if he wants to or wanted to. If he went against them, they could do probably tremendous, tremendously horrible things to, you know, anyone or everyone. I don't know what's happening in the storm. That's the thing about the storm. There's just stuff flying everywhere. You know? And if you can keep your head above water, you gotta watch out for anything floating on the surface. So, you know, it's a, it's a maelstrom of confusion where probably things are tense. You know, there used to be interagency cooperation, but now I'm reminded of some other scenario from some movie. Well, the military was in charge, and then Bruce Willis and some, or Denzel Washington and some dudes walk in and they're like, no, we're in charge. And the guy's just, you know, he's doing his job, so. When it's time to stand down, he stands down. Michigan and North Carolina, I heard her, heard our, 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 the pronunciation's not always that great, are, you know, protesting the, the stay-at-homeness of the situation, which you can understand why they do that, I guess, but And it would have to be some kind of a friggin' 